Texas Roadhouse. I'm Lindsay. I work here with the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum and I want to be your next apprentice. I thought it would be a lot of fun to show you where I work, so let's go check it out. So this is our wood shop. This is where we make all of our casework for our exhibits. This is also where I spend some time making interior boxes for cases, as well as cutting a bunch of acrylic for different mounts. Right here, I have some examples of some things I've recently made. I just made this box yesterday. Um, it's gonna go on display in a couple of weeks. Also made this a couple of weeks ago. This is gonna go out about next week. So now that you've seen what we do upstairs in the wood shop, let's go check out the mount making shop downstairs. shop. I spend a lot of time in here working with brass and acrylic. We make a lot of our mounts out of those two things. And I have some examples of some acrylic mounts that we do. Right here is one for an open book. See, it just sits like that. Right here is one for a single document. We do a lot of these each month. We're non-collecting, so we're constantly switching things. We probably do about five or six new documents a month. I get a lot of practice on these guys. And right here is an acrylic mount for a folded flag. We just had an American flags exhibit and this is what this was made for. Um, it's just a piece of bent acrylic right here. We heated it up on our hot wire that we have and then you just weld it together and you have a beautiful mount. Uh, we also do a lot of brass work in here. We use a torch for some brazing. We mostly use hydrogen. Every now and then we will use acetylene if we have something that's a little bit fatter with our brass or steel. Um, so now let's go check out the artifact room and see some of my brass work. So here we are in 125. This is our artifact room. Uh, as you can see, I don't really spend much time in here. Just kidding, this is where I spend most of my time. Um, upstairs, I told you about the box that was gonna have a powder horn on it. This is the powder horn. I just finished making this yesterday. Um, I just braised some brass together in an H shape had a post on it, uh, painted it, shaped it, wrapped it. Um, yeah, so that's that one. As I said before, we are non-collecting. We keep things anywhere from one month to 100 years. We have LaBelle, the big ship, for 100 years. Um, so we put out about five to six different things a month. Right here, we have all of these documents that are going out this month. Um, and down here we have some 2D stuff that's going out. My favorite thing about working here is the creative freedom. I rarely get specific plans on how to mount things. It's stuff that I have to come up with myself. It can be really challenging, but it's also a lot of fun. For example, this right here is a stove hinge that's from the colonial days of Tejas. Um, when I first received this, I had no idea how I was going to mount it, but I decided to just cut a piece of acrylic so it fits onto the inside. And then I tapped a couple of holes and just added some brass tags. We also try to always faux out our mounts so you see less of them. Uh, one of our favorite things to say is if somebody's looking at your mount and not the artifact, then we did something very wrong. Uh, yeah, so that, that's my favorite part. I think this little guy is really cool. It should go out next month. I can't wait to see it on display.
fact, I made you guys something yesterday. Let's pull this out. Ta-da! And don't worry, you guys, I'll bring it to you when I come see you in Boston. <laughs>